and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, what's up? I'm Gemma and I'm a senior pro designer who share tips about UX for free. If something you're interested in, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Today we are going to look at the new Figma UI. Yes, it's slowly being rolled out across all of people's Figma platforms. And I know a lot of people have already had the update and people have not had the update. For me personally, I was able to have a unique perspective where I can use the old UI and the new UI at exactly the same time. Now let me just digress and explain why. My account is still on the old UI and the place where I work, the company that I work for, also has a Figma account and I have the new UI. It was a really cool perspective that I had where I could view both of them together, able to see where the differences lie, where stuff has changed, what it was like for me personally to use in the new UI and some of the issues I may have found while using it. And perspective that probably a lot of other people are going to experience, but yeah, I just wanted to capture my thoughts in a video and present that to you. So if that's something you're interested in, keep on watching this video. I think it is important. So let's take a little look at the old Figma layout. You can see what Figma, I think it was UI 2? Don't quote me on that, but I know the next version is UI 3. So I'm guessing this is UI 2. And the way that we see it laid out, the tools are in the top left. We're not very used to seeing these at the top. If you look at Ever Design softwares, you'll see that the tools are usually down the side. And we do have it here as well, like these are on the side. And then it wasn't a revolutionary design is the best way to put it. But again, it was really easy to use. It was really easy to find your tools, but I could see why they might have started to change their idea. Or if you can see here, you are have limited variety of, of place where you can actually put more tools if you needed to as you grow all the time serving a purpose at that time and it is in a really good place to design I didn't find any issues I found it really easy to use this layout but, you know you're able to add in your artboards let's just add in a quick little artboard and if you wanted to put a rectangle on it you could put a rectangle on it if you wanted to put a circle you can put a circle yeah. And then all the other tools are down this side. As you're scrolling down, this is starting to get pretty long and this also takes up quite a lot of space as well. So you don't really have that much real estate to use when you're designing, especially if you're on a smaller screen. When I was in config, we explained why the updates of the UI was happening and I highly recommend you go watch that video. I'll link it in the description below. But just to give a deep overview of what the UI used to look like before we move on to the new UI so you can see the slight subtle differences. Massive difference and a massive learning curve but it is enough in order to know that when this switch does happen for you then you're going to have a little bit of a learning curve but don't worry it's not a massive one. I'm just going to switch over now to the new UI just so you can get a general understanding of what this is actually going to look like. So right now on my screen you can now see the new UI. Looking at this you still get your file asset and layers all on the left hand side. You also get your tools and your variables on on your left hand side. As you can see this is no longer a long growly list where everything kind of falls off the page. You can see now it's kind of rounded round and you can see clearly where this is now expandable as well. If you had a really long layer you are able to now view those long layers more freedom in order to move these things around. Personally what I think would be really cool and Figma if you want to throw it in as a little update it'd be really cool if you could just pick these up and, and just move them to wherever you want them to be. So maybe that's something they'll bring in the future but from somebody who has been using this that would be a banger of an update. A swift little look at the previous one. This year we can see the tools are along the top. We can see the tools are now placed at the bottom. Now this was a slight learning curve for me because as I started to get into this software and design again I realized that my memory was to always go to the top left to use my tools. It took me say about an hour maybe two hours to really get into that mindset that these tools are actually now at the bottom and no longer at the top. But as that like learning curve happened and I was able to switch my mindset it has now become second nature to go to the bottom to grab any of these tools. Within the tools you can see that you have your, your move tools, got your shapes, we have your pen tool, we've got this text tool comment section. Comments used to be in the top top right I believe. So no they are in the top left. My bad. 
<laughs> this is where you can create your actions. So if you open this up now, this is where the search feature is going to be. And I'll do a whole video on the search feature once it's actually out and, and ready to go. I don't have access to those tools, but it's good to know exactly where those are going to be found. I can also see my asset as well within here. So if anything is connected to a previous design system, I can connect different design systems. And I can also see my widgets and plugins that has been installed. So it's really easy to find these. And I can also obviously search for those where previously if we jump to the previous UI in order to find my plugins and widgets I would have to go to uh, this drop down go to plugins and then I'd find them there there's no way to actually physically search for these things I would just have to manually go down and look between all these set elements in order to find what I needed to find Figma has made that really easy now and they've got a cool little search feature so thank you Figma now the way that you use this is all exactly the same so you know how you do your variables your styles all those type of things anything that you're familiar with you can still do they've just been moved around a little bit and easy to find they really have improved the UI I like the new UI but I would like to be able to move these elements around just to suit my needs as much as I love the bar at the bottom with all my tools especially when you're working on a small screen it does start to become in the way a little bit so if we like zoomed in let's just say that I was working on this screen it'd be really cool if I could move these elements around just so they're not in my way yes I can still hide them but that still ends up in the same situation as what I was on the old UI where I can no longer use my tools so I have to keep turning them on and off in order to see those tools update to this to me would personally just to be able to move this bar around it gives designers the autonomy to set up their own system and their own workstation to suit them personally and not have to just use a generic way of working so Figma if you can sort that out that would be do I think they've gone extremely extreme and it's all different and it's really difficult to learn no do I think it's an improvement yes so I hope you like this type of video again this is a short one I I just wanted to highlight some of the changes within Figma and yeah if you like this type of content, then please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I also offer one-on-one -on -one mentoring sessions over on my Super Peer. If that's something you're interested in, there's a link in the description below. And I also have a newsletter called Handover, where I send out UX-related content every single month. Again, if that's something you're interested in, there's a link in the description below. And that's it. Until next time, bye!